Hello, it's Bruce Weekly, back with another video, and this one is another Blender vi video editor tutorial, and uh, this one's not going to be much in the timeline as much as it's going to be in the uh, video view area, and also downloading add-ons, which I'll show a little tutorial, it's extremely easy, so let's just get started. I actually got this idea from a YouTube commenter, I'll put his comment on screen right now, and uh, this is actually my third take, because last time I basically did the entire thing and my mouse wasn't even visible, so let's hope that... Let's hope I got everything fixed on OBS. <laughs> so, let's go to the uh, the place I downloaded. I'll leave a link in the description to this very place, and you just kind of download it as a zip. And then uh, there's another way to do it, but I just download it as a zip. And then all you need to go go to is go to User Preferences, Add-ons, and then Install from File. And then from there, you can just kind of go to uh, if I can go there. You can go to like your downloads or wherever you want it to be. So mine, I put mine in the downloads, and then I just kind of uh, click the actual thing. So and then you just kind of install, and then it installs, and you click check mark, and then it's in. It's right there. So let's go and try it out. Let's see what it does. Uh, what we're going to be doing is the VSC transform tool. It's very useful. It'll save you a lot of time. And um, basically, what it does is lets you just transform videos from the actual view preview area, which makes everything so kind of like the 3D viewer in the animation section of Blender. So uh, to let's just add a video and let me give you an example. And um, so let me just add maybe uh, let's go to my videos. Let's go here to my intro, and uh, you see just the video at normal video my normal intro but if you want to maybe transform it so add, uh, press T and then it automatically adds the transform and then from there you can go ahead and just click G to move the video around S to like scale the video so if you want it to be big or small and then finally R to rotate the video and uh, you might be wondering how how will this show up in the actual video and you need to of course add keyframes because that's what like the very fiber of blender that's what it's made on it's just adding keyframes so uh, to do that you just need to press I and then you know click on what you want to keyframe so I want to keyframe all location rotation and scale and then if we go somewhere else where I want it to stop we can just do the exact same thing G we can move it maybe over here and S we can make it uh, smaller I want to do it smaller and then finally R let's rotate it upside down and then I you can just automatically add the keyframe and that's how easy it is it saves you so much time Okay, right, so I forgot to mention that uh, if you want this little add-on to be saved so whenever you start up blender it'll be saved there uh, you of course need to go to file and then save startup file and then that's it or just press control U as it says as a shortcut and then then you're done then the add-on saved so sorry I forgot to mention that now back to the video in scaling and rotating of course it's not as precise but it will if you get it like uh, kind of where you want it to be you can be more precise in the actual XY and XY of the scale and position but if we go here we can see the actual video shrinking and moving and that just saves everything everyone a lot of time and that's all I'm actually going to be going over this video is just that very add-on. But if you guys want me to do more add-ons in the future, uh, this one's very simple, very helpful, very easy to use. And also Q, I forgot about Q. Uh, it let's it does this. <laughs> it it does the opacity, and that also helps a lot in uh, doing and doing like um, fades like manual fades or like uh, at the end of the video if you want it to fade out you can just you know have it at 1.0 and then um, insert like the keyframe of you can insert the keyframe of the opacity and then go later and go ahead and turn the opacity down so that this entire thing is just extremely helpful and I never knew about it until today from that very comment I'll put his comment on the screen again here so um, I know it's a very short video but that's kind of, kind of how I want these tutorials to be I want them to be quick easy and like helpful to as many people as possible so um, just thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon and stay tuned for more pixel weekly I don't know what's right
Just find the best way I can fit up mine I know you're 